I think clearly last year during the high-level talks, the RMB was a big issue, and I think it's going to be a big issue again this year. Um, America is continuing to push China to appreciate the RMB, but if you've seen, the RMB has actually appreciated in inflation-adjusted returns about 12.6% over the last two and a half years. So I think we're actually starting to get closer to a consensus between Washington and Beijing on where the currency needs to be. But I think one of the main areas that they're going to be talking about is the fear by a lot of American businesses and actually all businesses around the world that there's rising protectionism in China and that the state-owned enterprise sector is starting to have too much power uh, within the procurement process within the government. And will this be uh, an issue that both the Americans and the Chinese will agree on? Um, I don't think so. I mean, right now, China in the last two years has been very protectionist, um, and there are concerns. So I think there's going to be a struggle um, between the two sides, but hopefully it's going to work out, um, and you're going to see that the United States might allow more technology transfer from the U.S. to China, and maybe on the other side, you'll see the Chinese will allow for more agricultural imports into the country because Chinese right now are gobbling up American meats, beef, um, soybeans. If you look, uh, 30 years ago, the average Chinese only consumed about 30 percent of meat per capita of Americans. Now that number is about 50 percent and everybody likes American pork.